So I've just got Jackie Norton here with me. Jackie graduated in 2011. Thank you for joining me, Jackie. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. No worries at all. So as I mentioned, you graduated in 2011. What did you get up to after graduating? Awesome. So straight after graduating, I decided to go to uni. So I went to La Trobe, studied in Bendigo and studied for three years doing a Bachelor of Graphic Design, which I don't think exists anymore, but it was a good three years while I was there. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, I, yes, it's a, quite a shame that it doesn't exist anymore. I think it would be an amazing course. Um, so what was it that drew you to, to want to pursue graphic design? Have you always been creative? Um, looking back at it, I think I probably was, I'm not like your standard creative. I can't really draw. I can't really do all the normal stuff, but I love fiddling on the computer and I love creating things visually. Um, and so I was always pretty good at school. Like most subjects, I was like, cool, this is fine. Um, but when I stumbled across doing design stuff, it kind of, it wasn't any easier, but it was just really fun. Um, and I really enjoyed myself as I did it. So um, I think it was probably late teens. I was like, you know what, maybe graphic design is for me. My other option was psychology and I was not keen on the amount of study that it took to get a degree in that. So <laughs> anyone who's done that, well done. But I chose graphic design, which I'm really loving. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. And so at the moment you run your own graphic design business, White Deer Graphic Design. What led you um, from studying that to actually going, you know what, I don't, I'm going to start my own business. Did you work for someone else in between that time or did you just go, you know what, I love the idea of working for myself? Yeah, I actually, I thought that I needed to work for someone else. I thought you go to uni, you work in an agency for a couple of years. And then if you really want to go on your own, you've probably, you could probably earn that credit yourself. But I realized that I didn't have to, and also that I couldn't. So obviously when I graduated graphic design in Bendigo, there was also 30 other students graduating at the same time. And so there's literally not that many jobs in Bendigo. So I found myself being unable to be hired. And I was like, you know what, I might just have to fast track this whole running my own business thing, which is always what I wanted to do. I always loved the idea of working for myself. Um, I remember when I was studying small business at school, I thought I never want to do this. It's way too hard. But when I'm in it, it's actually not as scary as I thought it would be. You just wake, make up things as you go. Um, and so, yeah, I ended up starting, I, because I was living in Bendigo still, I got to live at home, which meant I had some, I guess, some space to be able to play around with what my work looked like. So throughout uni, I started getting a few clients, just a couple of friends or my church. And I'd be like, hey, can I do some design for you? And they were like, yeah, sure. It's free. Why not? Um, and so I just kind of built things up. And then by the time I finished uni, I found that I had a few clients and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give this a crack. And since then it's gone gangbusters. That's so great. That's so great to hear. Um, so what do you love the most about what you're doing at the moment? Um, I think I love, I love two things. I love the response when I get, after I send a design to a client and they email me back saying, Oh, I love it. It's everything I ever dreamed of. Um, that's a really awesome moment to have because you know that your work is really helping them, I guess, too proud of their business as well, which is really important. And I also love that I have the skills to be able to often businesses have all these great ideas and all these things they want to promote to the world. Um, but they don't, present it well. It is like their flyers are a bit rubbish or their advertising is a bit all over the place. And so I love being able to take the awesome stuff they have to offer and make it something that can actually get them business, which is really cool. Yeah, that must be an absolutely awesome feeling. Um, I just was wondering, is there something in particular that you really, really miss about those good old Bendigo senior days or do you have a, a specific memory? What is it that you 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 miss about you know walking up the stairs and going to Bendigo Senior <laughs> all those stairs I definitely don't miss the stairs I had a lot of because I did art stuff it was all on top of C block and then it, yeah. oh yeah, anyway but, it's it's change. <laughs> um, but I just I loved seeing my friends um obviously when you get out of school you don't see your friends every day You're lucky to see them once a month if that um so I really loved being able to see my friends every day I remember we always had this one spot we'd always meet at school and we just always get there every lunchtime and every break time we had and and that was really nice to have those memories um of just catching up with my friends so regularly <laughs> Yes, yes, that's definitely definitely something that I miss as well. After leaving school, it's all a bit different and everyone goes off in their own ways. Um, can I ask, was there a particular teacher that, um, that you re really enjoyed being in their class or was a particular teacher that inspired you at all? Um, I think I would have to say um, my VizCom teacher, so VizCom is the closest, I don't even know if it's a subject, I'm assuming it still is, um, that's the closest to graphic design. And so Michelle was one of my teachers for that. And she, obviously, I had her both years for VizCom, which was really nice. I got that continuity. Um, but she was always really encouraging, really inspiring, really um, 
pushed me, but also encouraged me and, and let me know that I was doing a really good job. And I think if I had had a bad teacher during those two years of doing VizCom, I don't know if I would have pursued graphic design like I did. So I really appreciated her input into the career that I ended up choosing. Yeah, that's, that's so great to hear. And, you know, I did a couple of folio subjects as well when I was at senior and it is tough. There's a lot of work to keep up with. So, and as you mentioned, those crazy stairs every day, you know, it's, it's, um, yeah, they're definitely fun subjects, but it's, it's a big commitment as well. So, um, I just wonder whether you have any words of advice for our current students at all. Cool. I have two pieces of advice. The first one is stick at it. I think by the time you get to year 11 and 12, you're like, I'm so over school. I've done what, 10 years of it so far. And I'm kind of just ready to 11 years of it. I'm ready to be finished and just move on with my life. But stick out those last couple of years, even if you've only got two or three months left, just push through those and really make it worthwhile. Because I think it'd be such a shame to have gone all your school career and be like, I give up, it's too hard. And at the very end, then I think, so I think just pushing through, trying your best, whatever your best is, your best doesn't have to be A pluses. If your best is a C, then that's great. Um, and kind of just sticking it out so you can be really proud of the effort you put in. Um, and then the other thing is to remember that whatever path you want to go down, there is options out there for it. Um, so you've Work-wise, there's so many different places. So if you don't get the goal that you were aiming for, then you can find a different path into that career or into that work work choice. And even for me, for graphic design, I technically didn't even need to go to uni to do the job I'm doing right now. None of my clients care I've got a degree. So it's really just about putting in all the hard effort um, and learning while you can. It's, it's, school is such a great place to be learning all the time. And so just taking the most of that because once it's done, it's done. Yeah. Well, that's great advice, Jackie. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure our students will get a lot out of your message. Thank you. My pleasure.